Continental Drift In this module, you will learn about the evolution of the Continental Drift Theory. Observe the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean. Can you see the symmetry of the coastlines on either side of the ocean? Many scientists noticed this similarity and considered the possibility of two Americas, Europe and Africa, being drifted away from a huge landmass that was once joined together. Remember the continental drift theory which describes how continents and oceans were formed after drifting apart from a single landmass and water body? In this module, you will learn about the contributions of three important geographers who were instrumental in formulating the continental drift theory. We will also take a quick look at the drift theory of the formation of continents. The idea that continents were not always in their present positions was first put forth as early as 1596 by a Dutch mapmaker, Abraham Ortelius. In his work named Thesaurus Geographicus, Ortelius proposed that two Americas were torn away from Europe and Africa by earthquakes and floods. Later in 1858, Antonio Snyder Pellegrini proposed that all of the continents were once connected together. To show that, he drew a map showing the three continents together and compared it with the map of current positions of the continents. Thus, before and after maps of South America and Africa made by Pellegrini gives a clear picture of the theory of continents drifting apart. The idea of moving continents gathered dust until in 1912, a 32-year-old German polar researcher, geophysicist and meteorologist named Alfred Lothar Weniger reintroduced it in his article as Continental Drift Hypothesis. According to Wegener, all present continents were once joined together as a single continental mass and collectively known as a supercontinent called Pangaea, meaning all lands in Greek. He went further to say that a mega ocean called Panthalassa, meaning all water, surrounded the Pangaea. Later, Laurasia and Gondwana land broke down into various smaller continents that exist even today. Wegener's hypothesis was controversial and not widely accepted until the 1950s during which more evidence on plate tectonics was brought forth to support his theory of drifting continents. In this module you have learned evolution of the continental drift theory. In 1596, Abraham Ortelius proposed that two Americas were torn away from Europe and Africa by earthquakes and floods. In 1858, Antonio Snyder Pellegrini proposed that continents were once connected together and drew a map showing the before and after positions of the three continents. In 1912, Alfred Lothar Wegener proposed that all present continents were once a single continental mass collectively known as a supercontinent called Pangaea.